the sun rises in the south once again as southerners begin to emerge from their habitats. But this morning is unlike any other in the southern lands, for a brisk air has fallen. This is the first cold day in the south. Observe these southerners as they scavenge deep within the nooks and crannies for garments that lay long dormant, their winter clothing. Strange, sleeved fabrics essential for braving the harsh conditions of below 60 degree weather. Oh look, it seems as if this one has found her winter coat. Watch as she revels in its warmth, and if she's lucky, maybe she'll find some long lost treasure stashed away within. Ah, yes, there, see? She's found some loose dollar bills, an old ticket stub, and a cough drop. Likely expired, she pockets it once more with the intention to throw it away later, but probably won't. Here we see this underprepared southerner who only owns the top half of the winter garb. His trusty shorts and flip-flops are year-long fashion. This southerner will try to convince you that he's not cold, but rest assured, he is. And what's this one up to? She seems agitated, using her sense of smell to find the source of a slight burning scent. She frantically searches the stove and the oven for the source, but to no avail. What could it be? Inevitably, the southerner recognizes this bitter stench once more as the heat was switched on for the first time. Doesn't she feel silly? Let's check in on Diana again, shall we? She seems to be admiring some new gloves. In fact, those look just like the ones she lost last year. She'll likely store these in her jacket pockets, at the ready for the bitter chill. Oh wait, what's this? The lost gloves were in her coat pocket the entire time. Ah, such a bittersweet find. Driving in the cold proves difficult for this southerner, whose visibility is hindered by a great fog over the windows. Observe as he attempts to use the defogger. Note the confusion on his face as he switches from hot air to cold air, unsure as to which one works better. When neither proves effective, the most risky of their kind will attempt a head-out-the-window maneuver. A dangerous ritual, to be sure, but one he repeats yearly. And now, Diana, bundled up and finally ready to brave the cold, steps outside. But as quickly as it came, the cold has left. And in its wake, a sunny 75-degree air remains. As Diana begins to sweat instantly, she returns into her domicile to find her familiar tank top and shorts, packing away her warm clothing once more. Renaissance Bank, the best bank in the South. Visit renaissancebank.com to learn more.